Great news for anyone dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace or for anyone who's thought about it and now has a good reason to do so. Full automation is finally ready for the Facebook marketplace and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can dropship on the Facebook marketplace with full automation when it comes to price and stock monitoring, importing your product and everything else that comes along with it. I will show you how to connect your stores, import products and do everything else along the way so watch this quick intro and let's go. What's up everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the Facebook marketplace, how to dropship on it, but more importantly, because we have covered that before, more importantly, how to add full automation to our Facebook marketplace so we can really scale our stores and do so like we've been doing on other selling channels like eBay, Shopify, and more that we have coming soon. So let's go ahead and get started with the Facebook marketplace, how to dropship on it, how to automate it. Let's begin. One quick thing before we do that, if you are new to our channel, this is the part where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the dropshipping world in every selling channel that you can think of. So many suppliers and marketplaces, so much new content coming out every week hit that subscribe button, enable those notifications, and let's go. So first things first, you wanna start dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace. There's a thousand and one reasons why you wanna do that. It's very profitable, a very untapped marketplace. I'm not going to get into the reasons why we have blog articles about it, we have videos about it. Let's go ahead with the connection process. So first things first, on the AutoDS platform, click on settings, then click on plans and add-ons, and make sure that you have the Facebook marketplace plan active. Once you got that, you can start adding your first Facebook store. So here on the top left on your stores, click on that and then click on add store and you will be able to connect your first Facebook store. So click on that and go through the process. I already connected my store. So we're going to start with that, my Facebook store. Now, the next step is to download and install the AutoDS Facebook dropshipping helper extension. So here it is over here and I'm going to leave a link to it right under this video so you can download and install it really fast and easy. Once you have that installed, you'll see it here as you see on my screen on the top right and if I click on it I can choose which store I would like to connect to the Facebook extension so in this case it's a store called my Facebook store I'm going to click on next then we've got the sync range this is how far back I want to go where AutoDS will check all of the listings that I have on my store on my AutoDS store that's not on my Facebook marketplace store yet so I can go as far back as 24 hours or seven days and AutoDS will check all of the products that I have, see what's missing, let me know that I have it on my account but not on my Facebook Marketplace, and then we can go ahead and start synchronizing those products. So in this case, I'll leave it as is and I'll click on sync now. Now we got to the logs page. So this is where I can see all of the changes that are happening on my Facebook Marketplace store. For example, if the supplier changed the price or the stock quantity, I will see those changes here. And of course, those changes will automatically get implemented on my store automatically through AutoDS through the Facebook extension. So here you can clear the log or you can download the log and you can simply get to the logs by clicking on the extension and clicking on this log button over here. Another thing that I want to show you is if you click on this wheel icon over here, it'll take you to the settings for this extension. And here you can tell the extension how often you want it to update your prices and your stock when your suppliers make changes from their side. So here you can tell the extension not to sync at all, to sync every one hour. So every hour, scan all of my products through my supplier stores, see what's in stock, see what's not updated accordingly, and the prices as well. So we can do it every one hour, every three hours, every 12 hours, or every 24 hours, whatever suits you best. In this case, I'm going to leave it on one hour, click on update, and that is how that is done. The scheduler just got started as we can see on the left side and we know when exactly it's going to start the synchronization process. So that is how you get to it when it comes to the AutoDS settings for the Chrome extension and also for the synchronization range. So we got the sync range, we got the price and stock monitoring, Let's move forward. Now, if you want to know what are the best products to sell on your store, we already have a video 
and an article regarding the best Facebook marketplace categories to sell. Over there, you'll have all of the categories and you also have the best selling products, how to find best selling products on the Facebook marketplace. So I won't mention it again. Go to our blog page, go to our YouTube channel and check out the content that we have on Facebook. So what I'm going to do is really quickly choose a product to sell. So I'm on Amazon and once again, you can choose any one of the 25 plus suppliers that AutoDS supports. I'm just going with one of my personal favorites. So in the Amazon bestsellers, I'm just going to go into a category that's fit for the dropshipping business model products that can and will sell. Let's just go for this example, this kitchen scale. Okay, so here's the product at $8.99. What I'm going to do is simply copy the URL, head over to AutoDS, click on add products on the left side, and here I'm going to enter that URL. The supplier is Amazon, the region is the United States. Go ahead and click add as a draft item is being added to the drafts let's click to track the progress so it's going to take me to the drafts page and as you see here on the top it already began the process of importing the products to the drafts page and it'll be available in just a couple of seconds now the drafts creation process is complete and you can see it here on top of our drafts page so what i'm going to do now is click on this arrow to open up the item editor and here you can optimize the product's title the description the variants images and so forth but what I'm going to do now is click on variants because here is where we need to hover over this copy button and click on it. As you see, it says copied to clipboard. So now I know that the products variants were copied. Now what I'm going to do is head over to the Facebook marketplace. On the left side, I'm going to click on create new listing. On the listing type, I'll choose item for sale. And as you see, I have a button here, paste from AutoDS. This is available from the AutoDS Facebook helper extension that we downloaded and installed. And on top of that, you can see that we have a drop down menu with a product, some floor lamp. So what this is, is a product that we have on the Facebook store on AutoDS that wasn't uploaded to Facebook yet. So if I would want to import this product from AutoDS to Facebook, I would simply choose it. This is what you do when you connect AutoDS to Facebook for the first time and you have products that are not listed on Facebook yet, but you have added them on AutoDS. And if you guys are wondering once again where it's getting the information from, it's from the variance column that I showed you a minute ago where we hovered over the copy button and we left clicked on it. So now all of the variance information is copied to the clipboard. Back to the Facebook marketplace, we're going to click on paste info from AutoDS. Now what's happening is all of the products information are slowly being transferred from AutoDS to Facebook. So you can see here that the product's title has already transferred itself. The product's details have also transferred from AutoDS to here to our, the Facebook marketplace. And now the images are slowly starting to add themselves too. So we can see here on the left side that they're being uploaded. I'm not doing anything besides talking to you guys and everything is being automated for me. So as you can see over here, it pretty much finished the first part of the upload process. So let's see exactly what it did. And that's exactly how long it took, by the way. Just about 10 seconds from clicking that button, we already have our first draft here. We didn't have to download all of the products images one by one but let's continue and get to the actual automation settings besides the product importer that we just saw which is already really good nice enough as it is as you see over here it took care of all of the line breaks it's split into paragraphs you can try to touch it up some more fine tune it a little a little bit more i would definitely optimize the product's title so it won't be exactly the same with the brand's name and all of that so let's start from the left side over here so we pasted all of the information all of the products images are here and well Next, we can change the product's title. So I will just optimize that a little bit. Delete the brand. So this is a food kitchen scale. Better yet, it is a kitchen scale. Digital grams and ounces. We can leave that. Definitely not for weight loss. I wouldn't say it's for weight loss. For food weight, baking, cooking. And let's just leave keto there. The price is $13. So let's go back to the price that we had to the supplier. It was $8.99. And AutoDS automatically added my personal profit range, what I would like to profit from this product. I know that the Facebook marketplace is going to charge me with a 5% transaction fee. But besides that, the rest of the profit is yours to be had. So in this case, I'm going to leave it as it is at $13. In the category, you already have recommended categories that Facebook added here. So I'm just going to click on kitchen scales and it automatically added it to that category. The condition is new, and here in the product's description, you can start editing the product's description to just make it a little bit more readable and make it look a little bit better for the viewer. So here I would add a line break, here too, 
also here and you can see the changes being implemented on the right side just make it look better make it more readable and once you're done with that continue scrolling down in the brand you can write branded or you can actually write the brand's name do whatever is good for you the sku can be left blank then i'm going to click on next now we're at the products location so the location i'll leave it at, at atlanta so if you're drop shipping on the facebook marketplace you're drop shipping to a us audience you're drop shipping products from the us to get fast shipping and be able to ship it with ups or usps or fedex the shipping companies that facebook wants to see and they can track it and it's also for your own protection so you can leave the product location at any place in the us but the delivery method do make sure that you enable the shipping options as you can see over here so we got shipping and local pickup shipping option we're not going to use a prepaid shipping label but we will use your own shipping label so click on that the shipping rate is absolutely free so we're going to enable free shipping you can do it by clicking in this box turn on free shipping for buyers okay and that pretty much sums that up now we can go ahead and click on next now if you don't have the shipping settings you might not be from the US and you won't be able to see shipping options at this time. We're always focused and keeping our eyes on everything that we can and cannot do on the Facebook marketplace. So if you're drop shipping internationally, the Facebook marketplace may not be the right place for you at this time. This might improve later and I will definitely keep you guys updated on that. Now let's go back. Now in the next screen, Facebook is asking me if I would like to allow the buyer to make an offer. So the price right now is 13 or $14. So this way they will be able to make an offer and then you can choose if you want to accept that offer or decline it. That is absolutely up to you. So I will definitely turn this feature on because I do want to see more people trying to negotiate with me and this way I will be able to close more sales. So over here, the minimum price I'll consider in this case, let's say $10, let's go with that. Click on next. And now it's asking me where I would like to list this product. So of course, I'm going to list it publicly on the marketplace. I enabled shipping options, which means all of the 50 states in the US are going to see this listing, which means many people are going to see it and many people are going to buy it because there's absolutely no competition at this time. Next, you can also list this product to different Facebook groups and I definitely recommend to do this to get more people to see your product. Once you're done, go ahead and click on publish and that is all there is to it. AutoDS will automatically monitor the price and the stocks for this item and for every other product that you upload to the Facebook marketplace. So you can now have hundreds to thousands of listings and every time the supplier changes the stock or the price on one of them, you don't have to do anything as long as you have the extension right here. It's synchronizing with all of your suppliers, all of the prices and all of the stock. And you don't have to do anything. The prices will change automatically according to your profit margin settings on AutoDS. Another great feature that I would like to show you guys is using the address copier for your orders on the Facebook marketplace. So every time you get an order and you have to fulfill it on your supplier's website with this little feature, you can simply in one click copy all of the customer's address from the Facebook marketplace and paste it on your supplier's website to save yourself a lot of time when fulfilling your orders. Let me show you exactly how that is done. For this feature, you need the AutoDS Chrome Helper dropshipping extension. So we are talking about two extensions in this video. One is the AutoDS Facebook dropshipping helper extension, and the other is the AutoDS Helper Chrome dropshipping extension without the word Facebook in it. I'm going to leave the link to both of those extensions right under this video so you'll know exactly where to get it and this is exactly how it works once you download and install the extension you'll also see it up here so this is the regular AutoDS Helper Chrome extension, not the Facebook one. Now, in order for this feature to work, you need to enable your Facebook Marketplace subscription on AutoDS. So if that wasn't obvious enough, you need to have that subscription in order for these features to work. So once you've activated your Facebook Marketplace subscription on AutoDS, you already have your Facebook Marketplace store up and running and it's already getting sales like this account that you can see here in front of me. I'm going to show you how you can copy that address all of the customer's details in just the click of a button. So this is an order, one of the orders that I have on my Facebook Marketplace account. This is the product that I'm selling. I'm getting it from Amazon. Here is the product on Amazon. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add this product to my cart. I'll click on add to cart and I will mark it as a gift. So the receiver won't see how much this product costs and they'll get it in gift packaging. 
then I'll click on proceed to checkout. Now here I need to paste the customer's address. So as you see here, we have a paste button and that is available from the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping extension. In order to paste, I need something to paste, something that I copied from. So let's go back to the order. And this is an order that I already shipped out, but it's just in one example of how you can do it. So open up your order details on the Facebook marketplace like this order here. And as you see here on top of the order details, you have a copy with AutoDS link. So I'm going to click on that address copied as you can see here on the bottom right. Now I'm going to head back to Amazon to the cart that I just left. And then I'm going to click on paste. Now I'm not doing anything and I'm letting the extension work its magic. As you can see, it's filling in the country, the customer's name, the address, city, state, zip code, everything that we have on the order details from Facebook. Now, in this case, we don't have a phone number. The customer didn't leave a phone number on the order details. So we can just write down nine, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Use this address and continue to check out. So all of that was done with just one click. Instead of me having to go line by line, filling in the customer's name, the address and everything else, this will save you a lot of time, especially when you got 10, 20, 30 plus orders per day. So use the extension, enjoy this feature. Let's move on with the Facebook Marketplace tool that we have here ready for you at AutoDS. So once again, it is now finally comfortable and easy to dropship on the Facebook Marketplace. And once again, it is a very profitable marketplace to dropship on because it is untapped because not a lot of dropshippers are dropshipping on it and those few that are doing it are definitely reaping their rewards. Soon I will also start recording case studies for my Facebook Marketplace account so you guys can learn every step of the way of everything that I'm doing, where I'm getting my products from, how much I'm selling them for, which products are selling, everything in 100% full transparency so you guys will definitely enjoy that. Now once you publish this product to your store, go back to the drafts page, and import it to your Facebook store. So I'm going to click on the import button and now the product is being imported from the drafts page to the products page and soon I will see it there. So it only took a couple of seconds. Let's click on products now. And as you can see, it's right up here. So now the product is live on my Facebook store. This is where I'm getting it from, the source ID from Amazon. This is the product's URL on Facebook and this is the store where I published it to. So now the product stock and price are both being monitored and once again, this is how easy it is. You can go ahead and add tens to hundreds to even thousands of products to the Facebook marketplace. Start selling, start making those profits, add business automation so that you can scale the right way. Another tip for you guys is if you would like to get updates on every time one of the prices or stocks is changing from your Facebook marketplace store, you can click on settings on the left side on AutoDS, click on notifications, and enable stock and price monitoring updates over here. Then make sure that your email address is written over here in the notify to email and in the digital email frequency you can choose how often you would like to be updated so let's do it on a daily basis and click on save that way you'll also be notified to your email but don't worry whatever changes are being made they will automatically get implemented on your facebook store so this is just an fyi for your information that pretty much sums up how to use the facebook marketplace dropshipping tool to import products to your store how to do the import process, how to connect your Facebook store to begin with, how to find a product really quickly to sell on your store, import it, and most importantly, start monitoring your prices and your stock. So full automation, it's finally here. Enjoy it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and I will happily answer them below. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest features that we have coming out and so much more. See you in the future videos.